Welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install an Escort M1 dash camera in a C7 Corvette. So today we're going to be covering the installation of the dash cam from Escort. They've designed the, the dash cam so it'll work with their existing radar detectors and the one of the ones that it does work with is the Max 360C. Max 360C uses a magnetic mount, which I already have in the car. And so what this does is this attaches to the side of the bracket and then utilizes the power source that normally feeds the radar detector. You would plug the cord from the radar detector into this and then the dash cam actually powers the radar detector. So you don't have to do any additional wiring. It's just a matter of hooking it up to the bracket. So I'm just going to show you that. This should be a fairly quick video, but it's something that there's been a lot of people talking about and I thought it was really cool that it's up and out of the way. So a little backstory here. I have a blend mount uh, mount that goes to my mirror that my Max 360 is already mounted to. And I'm just going to be adapting this to hook to it. Now you can see here in the picture it shows that it has a suction cup. Now, I can't speak for all the other states, but I know in California you're not allowed to stick anything onto your windshield via suction cup um, because they made some rules, rule changes back in the day. Um, police were not allowed to use, or the Highway Patrol was not allowed to use a radar gun, and they always had to pace you, and yet we were allowed to use a radar, uh, radar detector. And um, so there were some things that changed in the courts that said, yes, the Hyatt Patrol can now use a radar gun and we can continue to use our, our, uh, our radar detector, but we can't hook it to the glass. And that was how typically most radar detectors are, are done. They, you hook it on with a suction cup onto the glass. So that was kind of California's way of being able to kind of to detour the average user of being able to use a radar detector. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount this onto the bracket. The blend mount bracket has the same basic part. Um, so I'll mount it on there. This unit actually utilizes the power that goes to the Max 360. So I'm just going to simply pull the power out of my Max 360C I'm going to mount this on, it'll go into the side of the radar or the, the dash cam and then the dash cam has a wire that comes from it and goes into the side of the Max 360 so you're not having to do any additional wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the video now and hopefully you'll find this nice and informing and real easy to do. Okay, so what we've got here is that this was originally designed, um, the camera was originally designed to fit right up here on a suction cup mount and so that isn't going to work because I've got one of the blend mount uh, brackets for the mirror. So what we're going to do is we can take we can take and we can flip this bracket around. So because this bracket here is actually very thick on this side and thinner on this side we can take this nut loose because the threads are not going to be long enough. So if we flip this around, then what we get is we can go here like that, and if I can get everything to work with me here a little bit, we can go ahead and we can put our nut in over here, our thumb nut here, put our, our little gasket on there, the rubber gasket that it had, and we can reverse it. So now we've got a thinner bracket up here. So and then at that point, what we can do, we can snug that up, okay, and then what we can do is we can go ahead and we can remove the radar detector here to get it out of the way for right now, okay, and then we can undo we can release this screw here on the side. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to pull that screw and washer out. 
make sure we don't lose it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be able to put this screw and washer back through through the bracket like so. Let's see if I can put my my deal here. I'll get it started by hand. And then what we can do is we have our power here, and it's going to go into the power that originally ran the detector. We're going to actually plug it into the camera, just like so. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and tighten this, this screw up here. If I can get my ratchet to play nice. And all we're doing is just tightening that screw for the bracket. A lot of stuff going on here. So we're going to, this will snug up the camera. And it's also going to snug up this screw on this side. Then what we can do is we can go ahead and we can plug the radar detector back in. We can put it back on the bracket so we can make sure that we can tighten the screw on this side so we get so we get the uh, radar detector facing out correctly the way we want it. Get it snubbed up. And then we can adjust the camera so it's pointing straight out. We've got the radar detector sitting straight out. And then we're just going to tighten our brackets down like that. See if I can get to it over here. It's from where I'm at. That's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to get that camera up there so you guys can see it all. Okay, so we've got it where we want it. And so now we've got to get everything adjusted at the right it's the right way here. So we're going to snug this down and then we'll pull the camera back down like that. We'll snug this bracket down here. And we should be good to go. So I've downloaded the Escort M1 app for the phone so we can actually control the camera. And so what we're going to do is I've got this up. I'm just going to turn the power on to the car. I'm not going to start the car. And I should hear a beep, which I did from the camera. The radar detector is going to beep. And then once these all energize, we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide on over. It's just telling you how to power it up. Make sure that the green light is on. And then it's telling me to go to the list of networks on my wireless, go to the Escort M1, uh, Escort M1 uh, Wi-Fi, and enter the password of 12345678. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just download into that, go in, into the Wi-Fi, and I can see the Escort M1. Password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm going to hit connect. Okay, so we've connected to it. And now it wants me to come back to the app. So the app had actually closed down. I had to reopen it. So, but you can see here that the dash cam has been recording now for about 50 seconds or about a minute now. And you can see that, you can see right in front of the car. You can see all the way out past my wheel well on the right hand side. You can see all the way out to the left side. That's pretty well, pretty straight up. I don't know if you can see that, see that or not. But you can see that it's recording. So we've successfully connected it and we are good to go. So I would 
I would go ahead and I would follow the instructions uh, in the app so you can familiarize yourself on how to do it and um, that's about it hopefully you found this informative hopefully it helps you um, if you haven't uh, if you haven't ever installed a uh, a radar detector and already have the power up here to the mirror uh, reach out to me I had not done a video I wasn't doing YouTube at the time so I didn't you do a YouTube uh, video on this on how to get power but I can tell you how to do it if you need to so anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video it's a nice short one today but uh, hopefully it helps you and uh, you guys have a good one so thanks for watching the video today I hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that like button and hit that bell so you'll be notified of our next uploads thanks a lot and you have a great night hi I'm Lily and you're watching the Corvette channel don't forget to hit subscribe Thank you.